the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. message on this Thursday the 20th of October 2022 broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka Zambia by your servant Father Eustace Siame a Salesian of Don Bosco we listen to this encouraging message in the series experiencing God's peace entitled peace with others <laughs> We often look for peace in our relationships. The easiest way to have peace is to first have peace with God, followed by the peace of God. This allows us to see things from a heavenly perspective, which will infiltrate our earthly relationships. But we don't always have that viewpoint, do we? Sometimes our lack of peace with others is because we are stubborn and don't want to meet in the middle when we don't agree. We think arrogantly that our way is the best way. Another reason we don't have peace with others is because we don't want things to go well for them, either because they have hurt us or we are jealous of them. We don't want them to flourish, but instead we want them to fail. But we can learn how to live in peace with others from a variety of verses in God's word. And here are some of them. When someone persecutes us, we bless them in return. Romans chapter 12 verse 14. Never pay back evil with evil. Instead, be honorable. Romans chapter 12 verse 17. Don't retaliate with insults, but pay back with a blessing. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 Even when we have blessed those who persecuted us have chosen not to pay back evil and been honorable in our actions there still may not be peace why because people are people and as much good as we try to do we still fall short of perfection why because people are people And as good as we try to be and as much good as we try to do we still fall short of perfection not every relationship can be salvaged but let's do everything we can to ensure that we have done our part let's love and be tender hearted towards each other let's believe and hope for the best for others let's consider things from their point of view Let's apologize when we need to make wrongs right. Let's pray for God to do a work in us and also a work in them. And let's ultimately remember that people are not our enemies. We have a real spiritual enemy who loves it when we battle and accuse each other. If we blame people, circumstances or struggles for our stress and lack of peace, then we are inevitably giving them control over whether or not we live in peace let's not give anything or anyone in our lives this kind of power there is only one peace bringer and his name is jesus he is the prince of all peace before concluding tonight's good night message i would like us to pray for one of our confreres father matthew putumana sdb selection of don bosco who passed on on the 8th of this month and was today put to rest in Moshi Kilimanjaro Tanzania where I worked and this priest is the one who welcomed me in 1992 with my companion Father Nobet Lesa when we reached Dar es Salaam to continue with our formation in Moshi Kilimanjaro Tanzania May the soul of Father Matthew Putumana who was hit by a motorbike in Iringa, Tanzania, 
rest in eternal peace. Born on the 24th of April 1955 and went to the Lord at a very right time because he was on his way to listening to confessions that he met his entrance into heaven. May Father Matthew so rest in eternal peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Yeah.